Welcome back to Expansive, let's find out what's going on in the DL scene. First up, a new State of Decay 2 patch is tackling some of the community issues that have been existing in the game. So the team at Undead had this to say about patch 2.1. So the purchase DLC button on the main menu now works properly for players with new profiles who don't own any of the State of Decay 2 DLC. The mission build and make your own gear can now be completed if the player has a built in machine shop at their base. Characters on the community screen can now reorient correctly when changes are made to the community. The fixed an issue where sometimes newly created community members would overlap or be standing too close to others on the community screen and much much more and as far as the dlc pack goes declare your independence from tyrannical zombie hordes with this exciting array of fiery flashy new toys for your state of decay 2 community the independence pack offers three new vehicles perfect for running down zeds on the highway including the pyrohawk the burninator and the meat wagon you'll also receive access to a supply drop containing three new patriotic melee weapons two unique new ranged weapons and piles of single use fireworks used for causing general Mayhem. That expansion is available right now for $4.99. Far Cry 5's title update 8 has added a new photo mode, as well as additional items in the arcade editor and a bit more. The photo mode is added to the solo gameplay modes, while the arcade editor is getting a bunch of new items. This adds assets from Hours of Darkness DLC, as well as static assets and weapons in the upcoming Lost on Mars DLC. Data miners have found some potential details on the content, which includes a flamethrower and a power glove, which might be added to the game. There's also a new lobby browser for arcade on multiplayer and new damage region assets added to the arcade editor under gameplay health objects. And it's a very interesting time if you're a Far Cry 5 fan because it seems that Lost on Mars is going to be coming sooner rather than later. We already know it's on track to release in July, but with the release of an achievement list, it seems that it's going to be coming sooner rather than later. Lost on Mars is going to have seven achievements with 300 gamer score with no secret achievements. Some of the more interesting ones include taking down arachnids with a new power glove and collecting Larry's notes. We've got the full list of the achievements on our website, but do be wary of spoilers as they do contain some potential plot elements for the DLC. Speaking about leaks, Season 4 DLC for Street Fighter V may have possibly been uncovered by a leaker who has been on the money in the past. We already know we're in the middle of Street Fighter V's third season, which includes Sakura, Blanca, Falk and Cody, and we're going to be seeing G and Sagat later this year. However, it seems that Season 4 may already have been unveiled. This comes from Vergaben, who is a name that has been used previously, and he actually confirmed details about Super Smash Bros. Ultimate before the big E3 reveal, including majorly of all that Ridley would be a playable character, which is a brand new deal for Smash Brothers this time around. So he does have some credibility, but again, do take these rumors with just a little pinch of salt. So the current Street Fighter rumors are that the Season 4 DLC will consist of Street Fighter 4's Sea Viper, Street Fighter 3 Third Strike's Oro, Q and Necro, Street Fighter Alpha's Sodom, and another character slated to come to Street Fighter 5. However, he is also suggesting that Season 4 will be the last batch of content for Street Fighter 5. Vergerman is also suggesting that support for Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite has been permanently shelved due to the game's poor performance. It had previously been rumored that we might see DLC including Star-Lord, Miss Marvel, Green Goblin, Wolverine, Captain Commando, and many more, but it appears that those details, at least for now, have been shelved. Again, these are rumors, so do take them with a pinch of salt. However, it is likely that Street Fighter V will receive another season, and those are the names that are currently being volleyed around as potentials. What is confirmed is that Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle now has its Donkey Kong Adventure DLC. This is the largest piece of content to arrive for Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle, and it adds two new playable characters as well as additional environments. All you have to do to play is beat World 1 of Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle, and then you can jump straight into the content. With Rabbid, Cranky, and Donkey Kong offering new abilities, you'll also get to explore Donkey Kong Country in a whole new way. Look forward to a review on the site very soon. Conan Exiles had its first major DLC in the Imperial East Pack. It's available now for Xbox One, PC, and PS4, and it introduces new catty themed crafting recipes, which include new building construction pieces, interior decorations, war paints, armors, and weapons. According to Funcom creative director Joe Bylos, this is only the beginning. He says, we are also working on bug and stability fixes, along with several free updates, including pets and taming, new dungeons, a brand new religion, and much more. These are all large, game-altering updates that will be provided free to all players. The Imperial East Pack, however, is a premium piece of content, and that is available now. 
to begin about free content, Pillars of Eternity 2 continues to receive more free post-launch content with a Scalawags pack. And this adds a whopping seven new recruitable companions into the game, as well as additional ship upgrades like new sails, cannons and anchors. And on top of that, there's a new personality type called Savage. Obsidian have also taken the time to tweak some of the things in the game, like appearance customization, windows and hard crashing, and the Scalawags pack is now available as part of patch 1.1.0.0035. Phew, that's a mouthful. Planet Coaster's next DLC has been revealed and will add seven new rides to the game which celebrate the theme park's golden age. Releasing on July the 10th, there will be also dozens of new scenery props, additional visual effects like Victorian pillars, vending machines and 20th century music. Players will be able to craft parks with nostalgic themes inspired by Coney Island and seaside amusements. Planet Coaster will receive the wooden roller coaster Zephyrus from the 1920s as well as Aces Sky, Around the World Ferris Wheel, Loop de Loop, Test Flight, Hurricane and the Centrifuge Ride. Centrum. The Planet Coaster Vintage DLC will cost $7.99 for PC and is available on July the 10th. However, with content available now, we have Ant-Man and the Wasp for LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 in a new DLC level pack. Celebrated in recent refilm in America, it includes a new playable level which takes place in Hank Pym's research lab. As Ant-Man and Wasp, you have to defeat Egghead, a giant chicken mech and a bunch of goons in order to be victorious. By owning the content, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Egghead, Crossfire, Stinger, The Human Fly, Giant Man and Ghost are all added to the main roster of LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2, which takes the roster to over 200 characters. The content is available for £2.39 on Xbox One or £2.49 on PS4. It's also available as part of the game's season pass. Now back to the rumours, it seems that Assassin's Creed Odyssey will receive DLC in a similar way to Assassin's Creed Origins, that's according to a Ubisoft survey. It appears we're set to receive a season pass with the game, which will include a new playable character and a piece of content set in a different time period and area. This also includes new story missions in the main game, character progression opportunities and new outfits and gear. While this is still yet to be confirmed by Ubisoft, the survey does come from them directly. There's going to be more news as we get it, but we're hopefully not going to be waiting too long as Assassin's Creed Odyssey launches on PC, PS4 and Xbox One on October the 5th. Another game that's getting its first premium DLC is Kingdom Come Deliverance from the Ashes, arriving on July the 5th. This content allows players to build a village from the ground up with various different types of buildings available, as well as deal out justice as the bailiff of the village. Among other things, you can craft a brewery, stables, forge and more, and each building has unique properties such as providing better horses through stables. As bailiff, you'll also be able to interact with the townspeople by offering them jobs and much more. The trailer is now available on our channel and the content will be available on July the 5th for PC, PS4 and Xbox One. And finally, Shark Fu A Legend Reborn Secret DLC has been revealed. And it's not quite what we were expecting. Barack Obama has apparently learned martial arts for Barack Fu, The Adventures of Dirty Barry, which is a free update for Shark Fu A Legend Reborn if you've purchased the game at retail. There's going to be new moves added to the game, including the Barack and Roller and the Southside Smash, as well as a Peace Prize Drone Strike stage attack. The content also features parodies of Marine Le Pen and Kanye West, apparently. It all looks decidedly mad, and you can find it for yourself as Shark Fu A Legend Reborn is available now on PC, PS4, Switch and Xbox One. Not endorsed by Barack Obama. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to give us a like and a subscribe. If you think we've missed any DLC, do let us know in the comments section below. We're always going to be providing the news as we get it, and we will see you for the next one.